guys, welcome back. Today's video is for all of you horribly inconsiderate children out there who didn't plan far enough in advance to get your mom a Mother's Day present. I'm just kidding, obviously. I bet you've never been shamed so hard or guilt tripped in a gift guide video before, but now you have. Obviously, we have all been there. We've all had that moment where it's like two days or one day before a holiday and you're like, oh shit, I did not get this person a gift. It happens, I think, especially with like the smaller holidays like Mother's Day and Father's Day, as bad as that sounds, but they're not as like in your face as like Christmas and things like that. Or maybe you did know it was coming up, but you just haven't been able to think of a good gift idea. This video is for you. <laughs> Since this is a last minute gift guide, I tried to make these all kind of more generic ideas that you can really give to any mom regardless of her interest, but they do have some aspects of them that can be personalized. And I also did try to make these all things that you could like easily run out and buy. You know, if I'm last minute shopping, I can't be ordering something online. So I wanted to make these all very easily accessible. I'll link anything relevant in the description bar down below, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So my first gift idea is actually a set from the body shop. Seriously, when in doubt, out, go to the body shop or go to Lush because they always have like pre-wrapped beautiful little gift sets for every occasion. I did get sent this gift box from the body shop though and when I saw it I was like this just screams Mother's Day. This is called the Iconic Collection. Just like the box and like the colors and everything I was like that's so like Mother's Day and so spring. So in this set you get the British Rose Bath Foam, the Moringa Body Butter, the Vitamin E Face Cream, the Fuji Green Tea Shower Gel and then the Shea Hand Cream. So really good picks in here really great for this time of year and once again I think scents that are all pretty friendly I think a lot of moms would really like this gift set and if this is like a little bit bigger than you're wanting to go they do have a mini version of this set with just some smaller items and I think a couple of the scents are different but they're it's pretty much the same. Yeah, I just thought that was such a lovely gift set, really great way to pamper your mom, or I think it would also be a good one if you wanna get like your grandma a Mother's Day gift. Speaking of pampering, another gift that is sure to be a huge hit is a spa gift card. So this is something you can tailor to your mom once again. My mom loves pedicures, so that's always like a no-brainer if we're doing like a spa day or whatever, but if your mom loves facials, massages, you could even do a gift card to get like eyelash extensions, get her brows done, etc. Most spas or salons will offer a gift card and you can actually go in and be like, hey, how how much would it cost to get a facial and massage with tax and you can put that amount on a gift card and then she doesn't have to worry about like paying taxes or anything like that afterwards or alternatively if you want to treat yourself to it you can book like a mother daughter or mother son spa day you get to spend some quality time with your mom your mom's happy you get pampered a little bit everybody wins a lot of these are things I have given my mom in the past this one in particular was just recent I gave this to her for her birthday at the end of December and she really loved it and that is an Amazon audible gift gift card. It's kind of more like gifting a subscription so basically if you don't know and this is not sponsored at all my mom just like uses Audible and loves it. I have no affiliation with them or anything but Audible is an audiobook service through Amazon. I'm sure you guys have all heard of them before. But you can do you can actually gift a subscription so it's a little bit different than a gift card so if your mom isn't already signed up for Audible it'll give her like three months which is three books or in my mom's case she was already subscribed so basically she just got three books for free that she could redeem whenever and there are like different amounts and everything that you could do. I think this is a really great gift if your mom travels a lot, if she has like a long commute to work or anything like that, just some time to kill where listening to an audiobook would be really nice. Or if you don't think your mom will be into Audible but she has like a Kindle or something like that, you can do an Amazon gift card and she can redeem it on there. You could do it with like a mug and some tea or something kind of like cozy for like a nice day in reading. I think that'd be a really cute little gift. The next gift idea is an essential oil diffuser, something that I think has been extremely popular in the last couple years. If you're a Canadian like me, we have a store here called Sage where they kind of specialize. They have like body products and stuff like that too but they also have a really wide variety of essential oils and diffusers to choose from. There's literally so many different price ranges for essential oil diffusers so definitely you can fit it into your budget regardless I think. And then you can pick out a few different essential oils if there are like particular scents that you know your mom loves or sometimes they'll have like essential oil bundles for like stress relief or like sleep or energy or whatever. You can like tailor one to her needs. I think this is a gift a lot of people would really love love. One thing though, essential oils are not good for pets, so if your mom loves her furry friends, I would steer clear of something like this. Another thing that's been really popular and kind of trendy lately that I think a lot of moms would love is one of those like fruit infusion water bottles. So they're usually just like kind of a traditional water bottle, but then they've got kind of like a chamber on the inside where you can put in different fruits. You can do like lemon, watermelon, mint, whatever, and put it all in there and it just keeps it from like getting all over your water and it just creates a delicious flavored water. 
water. I know my mom would love something like this because she loves making fruit infused waters. The next couple gifts are more kind of techie items. The first one is a pair of wireless headphones. They don't necessarily have to be Beats. There are a lot of like affordable options and everything out there. But I think this is a really great gift for anyone in 2017 because with Apple and everything moving away from their devices having like an audio jack on it, wireless headphones really come in handy. Next one is actually something that my brother got for my mom this past Christmas. If your mom is anything like mine, she might be a little bit challenged in the technology department. My mom didn't have like Netflix or anything like that set up, so you could get her one of those like converter devices for your TVs that basically make your TV like Wi-Fi enabled, I guess, and then you can access like Netflix and YouTube and everything if they don't already have a smart TV. I'll link the one my brother got my mom. It was from LG, I believe, but they also have like the Apple TV too. You could do that. It's like the same kind of thing. Another Another thing my mom also loves is she has a little Sirius XM satellite radio device that she can put in her car but she can also take it and like put it on like this little speaker dock that she has. She's absolutely obsessed with this thing and I think that's also another really good gift too if your mom spends a lot of time in the car like if you have lots of siblings and she's taking them to like soccer and dance and everything or she just drives a lot for work. Next idea is movie tickets or a movie pass. I know my mom loves going to movies but she's really busy and doesn't get to very often so she loves getting like movie movie theater gift cards and things like that or alternatively you can have a movie night in offer to make your mom her favorite dinner and just like hang out with her get some snacks put a movie on Netflix and just spend time together I think that's what a lot of our moms want they just want to spend time with us we're getting down to the end of it before I jump into a couple last little kind of classic gift ideas one thing that I think moms really appreciate is gifts that they wouldn't go out and buy for themselves so if there's like something that you know your mom loves, like a makeup item, like if she absolutely loves her Lancome foundation and you know it's not something she'll like often want to splurge on for herself, things like that make really great gifts. Or I mentioned this in my haul the other day, my mom hates going to like the mall and she hates like finding parking and going shopping and everything, but she absolutely loves this shampoo from Lush and I saw she was getting low on it last time I was at her house and I was at Lush the other day so I just picked one up for it and I know she's going to be so excited about it even though it's such a little thing. So kind of rack your brain and think if there's anything like that that your mom really loves. One thing I know a lot of moms will not buy for themselves is a good makeup brush set. So you could pop into Sephora and get some makeup brushes for your mom. I think that's a really good one if your mom is into beauty, of course. So finally, we have got the two classics, wine and flowers. Two things that I think pretty much all moms love. For wine, you might need to do a little bit of snooping because it is kind of a personal thing, but like if you don't live at home, you could like ask your dad or ask your other sibling to snoop around, see if she's got any like favorite wines or maybe ask her best friend or like your aunt or something. Also, if you guys have ever watched any of my gift guides, you probably already know that I am a huge fan of subscription boxes as gifts. I think they are so fun to gift because they're so unique. And I did find online, once again, not sponsored, but there is a wine subscription service called Wink and I'll link it down below. They they are only in the states and they don't ship to every state so once again check the website but you can purchase gift cards on their website in a ton of different amounts so if you give this to your mom she'll go on there'll be like a quick little survey to like just so they can like figure out her palate and everything and what she likes in a wine and then they ship wine to your door which I think that's probably like the dream like have wine don't have to leave the house that sounds perfect. <laughs> also a little while ago I was at the liquor store and I have no idea like what type of wine this was or what brand it was from but there was a bottle of wine that literally the label just said thanks for putting up with my crap and if that doesn't scream a gift for your mom I don't know what does. <laughs> and finally we've got the classic flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers. One thing though if you can try and go to like an actual florist and get like a really nice flower arrangement. Don't go get like grocery store carnations because honestly I personally think it's worth it to spend a little bit of extra money and get like a really beautiful beautiful flower arrangement that's really going to wow your mom. That's going to be it for today's video. Those were all of my last minute gift ideas for Mother's Day. I really hope this video helped some of you guys out. If you've been struggling for what to get your mom, Mother's Day is literally like two days away, maybe one day by the time I'm posting this. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day, whether you're going to spend time with your mom or you are a mom yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Rianne on all three. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. I have a huge giveaway coming up right around the corner when I hit 100k, but I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys!